Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. Now you're gonna hate me ladies and gentlemen because I didn't record me getting this, but uh, I did a fishing quest before the episode began and I actually got the tackle box, which believe it or not, is the last accessory we needed in order to get ourselves the lava proof tackle bag, I think it was. So if we were to head on over here, we should be able to do this thing. So there's the anchor a tackle bag and there's the lava proof tackle bag that ladies and gentlemen is it our fishing grind is over in terms of getting ourselves gear we have the full fishing armor the lava proof tackle bag and we've also gotten ourselves the fish finder as well that's it we're still going to do the fishing quests though, because I still want to get myself the super absorbent sponge and the bottomless water bucket, amongst other things. I mean, crate fishing is something we're wanting to do in early hard mode, isn't it? But uh, yeah, certainly in terms of gear, we're just about there. So yeah, a mighty dang fine start to the episode indeed, if you ask me, my friendos. So yeah, welcome back to the series. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you so much, as always, for all of your wonderful support throughout this series so far. I very much do appreciate it. Guys, if we can get ourselves back up to a thousand likes per episode, that would be absolutely beautiful. It would be more than enough to tell me that you guys are still excited for the series and you want to continue seeing more. So then... Today, my friendos, today, if all goes well, I would have liked to have taken down the Wall of Flesh by the end of today's episode, okay? Now that we have ourselves a hell build and therefore a pylon down there, it should be pretty easy for us to go ahead, summon in the Wall of Flesh, and use our hell bridge road here that spans the entire underworld to have a good stab at taking down the Wall of Flesh with nothing but a squishy army. Now, there's a couple of crucial differences between this attempt at taking on the Wall of Flesh with our squishy army versus that old is it possible episode? Number one, this is master mode. I'm pretty sure that old video was on normal mode. Secondly, we have ourselves a whip at our disposal as well, which is something we didn't have on the is it possible episode because they just didn't exist back then. So yeah, it's going to be a fun one, my friends, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing how it goes. But before getting on with any of that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to overhaul the two remaining Sky Islands. One of them is going to be Crimson. The other one, is going to be a graveyard biome. We're going to begin with the graveyard biome and as a result of doing that, we'll be able to buy the crimson seeds and be able to spread the crimson around. So yeah, it's going to be a fun time, my friends. I'm very much looking forward to it. So let's grab ourselves out a whole bunch of tombstones. I'm very glad that I kept a bunch of these bad boys behind. <laughs> oh wow, we got a gnome banner? Huh, well that's something I can't say I've ever seen before. There it is. <laughs> Anyway, what I wanted to do... Oh, that's on my other world that I already had painting supplies. All right, I need to get myself a paintbrush and also some grey paint because we're going to make the graveyard biome into a nice spooky area. All righty, my friends. Well, I'm pretty excited for this. We are going to go ahead and make the graveyard biome up here above our snow pylon. So it should be fairly easy to access when it actually comes down to it. All we got to do is get ourselves out here and use our graph potion and... And up we go. Yeah. All right. Well, here we are. Now all we do is basically do a little bit of landscaping, a little bit of terraforming here and there. We get rid of this base and just sort of landscape into existence a graveyard biome. Really? This is going to be how it is. Hey, harpies, you bunch of sillies. I'm not having none of that nonsense today. Well, that's one death on the cards, isn't it? Well, at least we've already got for ourselves a little bit of a graveyard thing going on. There should be a gravestone up there, right? I'll tell you what, though, ladies and gentlemen. Despite having all of these pesky harpies around, I'd rather have harpies around than have harpies and wyverns. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, God. We would just get wyvern after wyvern after wyvern if we did this in hard mode, wouldn't we? Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to my health there. There's me trying to have a nice peaceful episode. Going ahead and custom making a nice little biome on a sky island. 
No, it's it's just not happening. You never get to have a peaceful building episode, do you? Not in Terraria. Alrighty, so with the landscaping done, it is time to go ahead and start planting some grass down, painting it grey, so it looks more like a graveyard biome. We start placing down all of the tombstones we have, and that should officially turn this into a graveyard biome, at which point we go ahead and make ourselves a tiny little base for the dryad to temporarily sit anyway. So yeah, I don't know, maybe on some occasions when we need to get ourselves alternate evil materials, we can have her up here, but uh, for the most part, she can just sort of stay in the jungle. Hmm, as much as the grey grass is nice, it very much goes against the regular colour of the dirt blocks here, doesn't it? So I think what we need to do is go ahead and paint every single dirt block that resides up here as well. And then yeah, I feel like we'll have ourselves a, a, a decent looking area. I mean, it's not going to be a nice looking area. It's it's a graveyard, for goodness sake. They're not meant to look nice. They're just meant to look kind of, I don't know, decrepit, aren't they? Oh, interesting. I didn't know you could use the smart cursor when it came to painting. But that is actually pretty darn useful. See, even after playing this game for the amount of time that I have, I am still learning brand new stuff here now today for the first time. It's actually kind of amazing. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So a little bit of time later, and we now have a fully grayed out Sky Island. Aside from the clouds, of course, they're going to remain as they are because we need to maintain the sort of facade that this is a floating island, eh? So yeah, the clouds do make sense. All right, so has the time come? I think the time has come. We are now going to spread around a whole bunch of these here gravestones. And what should wind up happening is we should... Oh, okay. I'm already starting to see it. Oh, snappers. Oh, look at all that fog though, dudes. Look at all that fog. Wow. Kind of nuts, isn't it? All right, I don't want to plant anything up here because that's going to be where I make a little temporary base for maybe the dryad or whoever. Wow! That is such a peculiar sight. This is so cool, though. So, since it is only going to be one NPC that actually winds up living here, we're going to make a nice basic shelter here. It is not going to be anything too extravagant. Just enough to have an NPC live inside it. Well, 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 this is interesting. We've got ourselves some different kinds of walls going on here. Lichen stone wall, ivy stone wall, uh, rocky dirt walls. Cave dirt walls? Stalactite stone walls? Oh, wow. Okay. We've got some pretty cool looking things here, my friendos. All right, cool. We've got a come up campfire. I'm going to put you right on down it. Oh, wow. That looks really, really strange, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this place, man. All right, maybe a couple of tiki torches just for your boy. Uh, maybe we put one there. Maybe we put one there. We need a couple of doors here real quick because I am so tired of these guys invading this place. Get out of here. You stupid, stupid harpies. Literally no one likes you in this entire world. I swear to God. All right, so all we need to have happen now is for the dryad to move in. It's actually nighttime as well. So if I was to simply go away from this place and then go back, there she is. Oh, snappers. All right, we've got some cool things going on. And now we should be able to buy alternate seats. Uh, what? Why are there no crimson seeds here? All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get that island looking kind of decent. I mean, I wouldn't mind it looking decent because that's what I like to do on my worlds at the end of the day. I like to make things look decent. Uh, so, yeah, we've got acorns for trees. We've got corrupt torches. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got an obsidian chandelier. Oh, okay. Obsidian chairs as well. Oh, we've got so many cool things here, man. Ew! Maggots? You can get maggots in this game? Okay, well that's uh, something I've not seen before. Uh, the unfortunate thing is I don't actually think I've got myself a bug net nearby. I mean, I'm assuming it is some form of bait. 
but uh, yeah, but I, I don't really, I don't really know. Oh, okay, I get it now. So after a quick search on the wiki, ladies and gentlemen, it actually turns out that you can't buy the alternate evil seeds until you are in hard mode. I must admit, I did not know that. So, again, I'm learning new stuff today, my friendos. All right, well, unfortunately, that does mean that we will not be making a Crimson Biome pre-hard mode here on our world. But you know what? I don't think that's too much of a hassle. It just means that as soon as hard mode comes, if it comes today, then, uh, yeah, we should eventually be able to do it. Why is the Dryad not up here? I'm a little bit confused as to why you're down there. I'm assuming she fell off at some point, at which point you have to wonder, how did she not die? But still, it's a bit strange, isn't it? I'm assuming these trees can still grow, right? I mean, even if there's a graveyard biome, trees can still grow, right? I hope so, anyway. Anyway, yeah, I think this place is just about there. So all that leaves us to do is to enable hard mode, get ourselves some alternate evil seeds, spread the crimson on the left-hand side, Sky Island here, and once all the trees and whatnots have grown around here, I've actually got some wrought iron fences that we could go ahead and uh, put down because I figured they would look kind of nice around here. So yeah, guys, yeah, all in all, I think we're just about there. So let's go ahead and prepare ourselves for a wall of flesh battle. So then, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. The summoning potion, we will most definitely be needing that bad boy. Danger sands, invis, I mean, to be honest, none of this is really needed. We've got ourselves shine. Night owl's not really needed. Archery, nah. Titan? Nah? I mean, yeah, heart reach, definitely. And the rest of it is pretty much just going to be like basic buffs. We've got box standard regen. We've got iron skin. We've got a little bit of the old swiftness here. Uh, what else have we got? We can have endurance. We can have ourselves inferno and wrath. Oh, lots and lots and lots of good buffs. We are going to go ahead and use our squishy army. We're going to see how we do. I have no idea. I've got to be honest, I've got absolutely no idea how this is going to go. However, one thing that is a good idea is to, you know, bring down the summon and, and stuff. <laughs> Alrighty. So, if we buff on up, we are going to summon as many squishies as we possibly can. There's, what, five, maybe six of them? There's six of them. Wow. All right, and off we go. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get rid of the map here, and let's see what we can do. Oh, it's snappity snap snappers. I mean, obviously, the biggest thing we need to do is get rid of the hungry first, and then, yeah, we can really start to focus down the wall of flesh himself. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Already down a little bit of health here, which is good. 13k. The only thing with the master mode wall of flesh, of course, is the fact that it will continually regenerate the hungry. So we do need to be fairly careful and aware of that. 12,000 health. 11, 6, 11, 5, 11, 4. Okay. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. It has to be said. Yeah. See, the thing is, we're actually getting little nuggets of health back by going ahead and taking out the hungry and the little worm dudes as well. So all in all, so far, it's not going overly bad. Although we are definitely starting to uh, feel the damage here. Oh, snap. Come on, baby. Come on. Keep those little nuggets of health coming back. We are definitely in need of them. Come on. Come on, Squishies! I believe! I believe we can do this. I believe we can do this. If I believe something will happen, it will happen. Okay. Well, they're saying that. My health is looking really quite bad, actually. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Oh, my dodging abilities leave something to be desired. We are now in the buildings, ladies and gentlemen. This is where the struggle bus may start to come through. Come on. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. We just sort of uh, situate ourselves back over here. Half health he's at. Oh, my gosh. This is getting a little bit of a crazy side. But there we are. We've actually got ourselves a little bit of health back, which is good. 
This is very much an endurance fight at this point, isn't it? We are now, I estimate, about halfway across the world, potentially. Oh, boy. Yeah, ma'am. I don't know. This is a tall order. This is a tall task indeed. It's not impossible. It's just unlikely. Oh, oh there, and there we go. That literally... Did you see how much damage that guy just did to me? 149. I could take three hits from a 149 damage enemy. And that's all. That is ridiculous. Wow. Do you know what? All in all, that wasn't the worst attempt I've ever seen in my entire life. That actually wasn't. The only bad thing is, it's literally just turned to night time. So now we need to sleep the night away until a brand new day comes along and the guide spawns back in. I have said this before and I'll say it again until I'm blue in the face. There needs to be a better way of summoning in Skeletron and the Wall of Flesh in Terraria. There really, really does. The voodoo dolls are just kind of annoying. You have to wait around for the NPCs to be alive in order for you to summon in those bosses. Now, when it comes to going ahead and defeating the boss for the first time, do you know what? That's totally fine. We'll go ahead. We'll keep the guy voodoo dolls and all that kind of stuff. But later on down the line, when you're trying to grind things out and you're having to wait... For the guy to come back in, you're having to wait for the clothier to come back in. I, I don't agree with that. I must admit, I don't agree with it. So Terraria, please, devs, if you are watching this, if there is any slim chance you are watching this, make a better way of summoning in Skeletron and the Wall of Flesh after the first kill. Please, I would so very much appreciate it. So to answer the question, is it possible to take down the master mode wall of flesh with nothing but a squishy army? I'd say it's plausible. You probably could if you had a massively flat underworld. But uh, yeah, we do not. I don't know. I don't know. I could give it one more go before upgrading up to the vampire frog staff and seeing how that goes. But uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. See, the thing is, what I also could do is go ahead and switch to the Obsidian Outlaw armor. Why would I do that? To have the increased whip buffs. Look at that. Increases whip range by uh, quite a lot. And speed as well. I mean, even then, we would still have five minions on us. I mean, yeah, it's not six like you'd get with the B armor, but the whip buffs could be the difference between being able to do this and not being able to do this. But now, though, I see no reason why we can't do a fishing quest. So let's see what we get, eh? We are looking for the humble dirt fish. Caught on the surface pretty much anywhere. So come on, baby. Come on. Ah, there we are. That didn't take too long. Brilliant. All right, super absorbent sponge, bottomless water bucket, one of the two. No. Okay, never mind. Maybe those things have gotten in hard mode. I actually have no idea. Hey! Well, there's the guide. So, therefore, we have ourselves a second attempt. So, let's grab ourselves a bunch of buffs. Wait, 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 wait. We did have food before, didn't we? Maybe we upgrade to major stats. Uh, where's the major stats? I guess that would be this, huh? Major improvements to all stats. That's the one. Little bit of seafood dinner. Yeah. All right, let's get the rest of our bus. Let's give this thing a go again with the Obsidian Outlaw armor this time. Oh, we didn't have a Thorns potion on before. <laughs> okay, probably a good idea to go ahead and put that on. Hey, eh? what? One of the NPCs died down there. No. Oh, that means it's going to take a freaking age to get down there, man. Ah, well. Ah, it turns out on some slightly more basic notes, the Obsidian Outlaw armor gives you very, very slightly more defense and also a little bit of additional damage to your minions in the first place. So maybe it sort of balances everything out, eh? More damage with the minions, but slightly less minions. Maybe it's around the same damage output, eh? All right, ladies and gents, the time has come. We are buffing up. We are going to summon in a whole squishy army. There should be five of them if all has gone to plan and uh yeah let's just uh let's give this thing another shot shall we ladies and gents let's do it come on oh i'm ready i am ready slightly more defense i've got thorns this time as well and way more friggin reach my friendos way more reach come on come on baby come on oh my goodness do well do well Already gone ahead and absolutely ruined the heck out of the hungry here. Very nice. So far, so good. 
Ow! Look at the damage, though, friend dudes! Look at the damage! Get out of here! I need the regular dudes to all go away. Come on. Come on. Come on. So far, so good. So far, so good. This is definitely a way better attempt than last time, my friend. That was a way better attempt, I tell you. Already below half health with nothing but a squishy army and a whopping great whip. <laughs> oh, snappers. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep on top of the health here, buddies. 3,400 health. 3,000. 2,700. 2,200. Oh, my gosh. This is it. The squishy army, ladies and gentlemen. The squishy army is enough to take down the wall of flesh. <laughs> Whoa. Who? 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 I'm good. Yes. Let's go, baby. Squishy army, you absolute beauty. I can't believe we did that. Ladies and gentlemen, if that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. Come on. A thousand likes for that. That is sick, dude. And not just that, but we did that with absolute ease. Okay, okay. I think that is categorical proof that the Obsidian Outlaw armor is far superior to the B armor. I'm sorry, but it just is. If you are on the B armor club side, then I'm sorry, bud, but you've just got absolutely riggedy, riggedy ruined there. The Obsidian Outlaw armor is absolutely amazing. Wow, I am definitely Team Obsidian now. Definitely Team Obsidian. <laughs> I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. Like, seriously, I cannot believe that. Hey, look, it's one of these guys. We need to go ahead and get ourselves uh, some of those... Uh, what's it called? We need the purification powder, right? And then we can go ahead and get ourselves a tax collector, right? Oh, 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 no. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, hey, we've got the truffle. Cool. I mean, it is hard, but that does make sense. Oh, this isn't cool, though. We have ourselves hollow through our base. Oh, I mean, to be honest with you, there's worse things to cry about. We haven't got any enemies spawning around here. This is kind of cool, man. I really like this area now. I did not think I would enjoy this being hallowed, but uh, here we are enjoying it being hallowed. I'm pretty sure that my chuffedness is going to be short-lived, though. Before too long, there's going to be 5,000 enemies swarming me at night and annoying me. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I think probably the biggest thing of all that we are going to get from this is this. The demon heart. We have seven accessory slots. That means our Magiluminescence is back on. And things are looking good. We've got the Clockwork Assault Rifle, the Sorcerer Emblem, and the Pwn Hammer, of course, as well. Beautiful. I'm sure you guys would agree. We have ourselves a truffle now, so that's pretty cool. The, this pylon is not in the correct biome to use. Ah, dang. Of course it isn't. We haven't got the right darn stuff. Uh, does anyone... Have the hallowed pylon being sold. We need, like, the wizard and stuff, don't we? Uh, oh! Hey! Oh, well, 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 I was not expected to find that. But there we have it. We have ourselves a hallowed pylon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's cool. All right, so what that means is we can entirely move the forest pylon to somewhere else. Ah, oh, cool. All right, so, yeah. Everything... Oh, there's not the villagers near this pylon. Oh, right, the dryad. Yeah, of course. Oh, oh, hey, the traveling merchant's here. Life form analyzer? Uh, no. Darn it. Uh, paint sprayer. I actually legit can't remember which was the last of the accessories we needed for the architect gizmo. I'm going to continually buy these things and continually wind up regretting it because I've already got the stuff. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The truffle is here. We have ourselves the mushroom pylon, dark blue solution, strange glowing mushroom, and a mushroom cap. Obviously, later on down the line, he sells things like the Hamush, and there was that one spear, I think, as well. And there's the auto hammer to get as well a little later down the line, I think, post Plantera. So, yeah, plenty of things still to come in this series, my friends. Wait, did we already have the paint sprayer? I don't think we did. Oh, my gosh. Could it be that we've actually got everything needed? There's the bricklayer. And there's the extendo grip. Wait, wait, wait a minute. We've got it all. Oh, we could be a master builder now. Oh, that is sick, dude. That is just sick. I'm so happy with that. I didn't realize we actually had everything we needed. 
<laughs> oh, those inadvertent wins. As weird as it may sound, ladies and gents, what I'm actually going to not do is use the pwn hammer because as I've mentioned in a response to a previous comment of the day, we are not going to be breaking demon altars, okay? We're not going to be doing it because as a result of doing that, we're going to have random splodges of evil all over the place. And I cannot be bothered to deal with that again. I don't know if you guys can remember my old Python's Realm series, uh, but yeah, that was a massive problem that we had on there. Little random splodges of evil when we were in the pursuit of trying to purify our entire world. Yeah, it was kind of annoying, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, come on! You just killed the clothy air! Why would you do that? That slime did like 100 plus damage per time to him. That is ridiculous. And now I have the clothier's cap. <laughs> Why not, man? All right, guys, change of plan. We're actually going to wrap up the episode with the comment of the day. And then, yeah, next episode, we will come back. We will get that Crimson Island done. I just wanted to end on a nice positive note. I feel like going ahead and doing building at the end of it would have maybe taken away from the Wall of Flesh victory. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get the comment of the day written down. Let's get it done. And let's wrap up the episode. We've got a nice simple one here today, my friends. Tobidas says, Hey, Python, you could use spikes from the dungeon to add thorns to the cactus base. Yeah, I love that idea, buddy. I really, really do. It's such a simple idea, isn't it? But I love it. I think it's a fantastic idea. I really, really do. And look at that. We've got 569 of the buggers as well. We might as well go ahead and get it done just to wrap up the episode. But here's the thing, my friends. We could go one better later down the line in that once we have access to the wooden spikes that you get from the lizard jungle temple, we could totally go ahead and upgrade the spikes on the cactus up to wooden spikes once the time comes. I think that'd be a fantastic idea. But certainly for now, we could go ahead and we could place these spikes down, therefore giving this place a little bit of a thorns effect. And then, yeah, we will feel just a little bit safer around here. Well, as long as I myself don't get caught on the thorns, that is, because that really does sound like the kind of thing that I would do, huh? <laughs> yeah, there we have it then, my friends. An actual cactus. <laughs> I think this is great. Thank you so much for that suggestion, buddy. I do appreciate it. And yeah, like I say, let it down the line. We'll upgrade it up to wooden spikes because I think that wooden spikes do more damage compared to the regular metal spikes. I think they do anyway. I could be wrong. So yeah, thank you so much for that suggestion there, buddy. And a whopping thank you to all of you guys for watching today's episode here. If you have enjoyed today's episode and you haven't already, I'd very much appreciate it, of course, if you guys would head down below the video and drop a like. Hit the subscribe button, of course, and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. The series and this world are really starting to hot up now, my friend. So yeah, be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out on my future episodes here. But for now, thank Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. And to answer the question, finally, is it possible to take on the Master Mode Wall of Flesh with nothing but a squishy army? The answer to that is a resounding yes. Thank you for watching, my friends, and have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.